Welcome to the Gals Guide to the Galaxy podcast, where a group of gals gather for you one cool thing around our topic of the month. Is it ancient history? Is it breaking news? Is it safe for work? Well, that's up to each gal. All we know is that... Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Welcome back. I'm Bonnie Fillenworth, and it's Painting Month at Gals Guide. I'm joined by Leah, Rebecca, and Kim talking about our one cool thing. We've already talked about <laughs> Frida Kahlo and Antrees Woods' Savvy Painter podcast and Amy Sherrill and her Michelle Obama portrait. But before we be- dive back in, let's get to know something random about our gal pals. So my question is... Who is your favorite female artist? Not necessarily a painter, but female artist. You know, when we hear that, I always think singer. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's where your brain goes first. My brain always goes Is it then Beyonce? Is Beyonce the answer then? It's not. No, (laughs) just in general, like when I hear the word female artist, like uh, Mm. award shows and TV and all that stuff, they always say that and I always think singer. So I still have to think about it. Because there's like best just... new artist. And yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ah. Just as throwing it out there. Thinking in the medias then of the mediums more likely of the Any sculpture. Any female artist. Mm-hmm. Man. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I'm going to totally cheat and say this really cool painter named Bali Billingsworth. I really like. <laughs> um, I have been slowly Cheater. trying to. Uh, I'm totally <laughs> cheating. Y'all didn't think of it. Did you? No. Uh, I'm slowly trying to collect her artwork and I am also tricking her into making pictures for me. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> Bonnie made a picture of Ohura, uh, that is lovingly going to go in my office. And I'm like, you need to sell these because they're amazeballs. Um, uh, but yes, no, Bonnie's my favorite. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I'm going to, I mean, there's dead silence. So right. what I'll do is I will say that I'm going to buy time and let you guys know <laughs> that like in my house and everything, I don't hang up anything except for paintings and like sculptures and stuff like that, that my, like people I know have made. So oh, that way everything on my walls has a story or oh, pictures or something like right, that. Right, right. I like that. So, I mean, I don't have touch. one that says Bonnie on it yet. Not yet. You, yeah. need, to, you need to get on that. I need to I get on that. Mend it. <laughs> yeah, man, there's so much. There's so much talent out there. What about you, Rebecca? Um, <laughs> I like how she I just mean, threw that I one think, away. She just rebounded that. Like, I think, I mean, I like, I want to say free to call, but we just talked about, you know, like we just had her on the last podcast. But I also would probably say um, Georgia O'Keefe. For her right. awesome Western art, um, and it's you know you know it's her work like it's pretty, um, pretty obvious like based on her style. So I think I'll go with George O'Keefe. It could just be because a friend of mine just mentioned her to me in a text the other day. So just <laughs> top of mind. So she's like fresh in your mind. Yeah, but I do like her paintings and, and sculptures. So I, I I will go with so George O'Keefe. <laughs> I'm going to go, I think I've got mine. Um, okay. I'm going to go with Annie Leibowitz only. I know she's photography. That's a good one. But she mm. has like stayed with me throughout, you know what I mean? Like my teenage years, you know what I mean? And, and still today, like, um, remember the Demi Moore cover where she was pregnant and she's like covering her boobs and you know, that one. Mm-hmm. And then there's also the John Lennon with Yoko where he's naked in bed and Yoko's fully clothed. Like those are Anne Leibowitz pictures. And I just, Annie Leibowitz, and I just... I always can look at an image and go, is that hers? Like for some odd reason, there's mm. something that um, either just I visually see it right away and, and I can identify her as the artist and I find them interesting in the way that she captures people in photographs, especially celebrities, and you see them in a whole new way. Um, so she's always kind of... Um, surprised me as well so she's been a, a constant bonnie's a new one bonnie's still the best <laughs> but bonnie's yeah. newer to the circle of my appreciation in art history there you go <laughs> did i buy kim enough time she looked like she needed more time as well Definitely not. Um, i i'm really horrible with names too because i'm just now getting into um recognizing 
art and female artists and yeah. things like that. The thing that comes to mind is, I this is I mean she's an artist, she's an actress of like Betty White. Betty White. 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 <laughs> Where is Betty White? <laughs> that wasn't intentional, but yes, that works so well. It all oh, well. comes again. <laughs> but I don't know, just to be an I- iconic person who yeah. um, makes people celebrate life and to be in the business and not like have a ruined reputation and stuff for that right. long, it's really hard. Um, but as we go through this, podcast i will actually think of either a painter or a sculptor or something like that but that, that's just someone that came to mind because i've yeah. really been into film and mm-hmm. movies and photography in general mm-hmm. so getting into paintings and sculptures i'm kind of new to it except for what i learned like k through 12 there you and go then a few few classes in college but really um starting my and we, we don't love. learn that many female artists. I wasn't really in K through twelve, many. right? No. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, to start fresh, I mean, <laughs> You're like, there's not many that I'm not. aware of. Like, I'm sure you can I... only know what you know, <laughs> right? And then, like, unless you learn, like, this is what I love, and I might not have even known that it was a female artist who mm-hmm. painted it or sculpted it. Oh so yeah. So I'm yeah, still learning, but. Let me think on it. Let me. <laughs> you got this. I am. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> it's totally cool. Good question. I like it. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Are you Thank guys you. ready for my one cool thing? Yeah. Wait, did everybody answer? Bonnie! Bonnie, Bonnie did answer. not answer. answer. Dear I God, Bonnie, answer. are you are How you did I buy that much time and you still didn't answer? <laughs> <laughs> favorite is me. Um, no, I wanted to throw out that Georgia O'Keefe has an exhibition in Cleveland, Ohio oh. until like uh, March 3rd okay. and it has like her paintings and I think either photographs, yeah. I forget if they're ones that she has modeled for or ones that she took and I think her clothes, there's something about oh. fashion involved too. Oh. Mm. Because there is nice. a Georgia O'Keeffe Museum in New Mexico, if I yes. remember. Yeah, right. okay. Santa Fe. Is it, yeah. is it from, is the stuff that's in Ohio, is it touring from that museum? Do you know? I'm not sure. That'd be interesting. Okay. Or if it's new stuff. I mean, either way, I haven't mm. seen the museum in New Mexico, so, or Santa Fe. Yeah. So, yeah. Sweet. Road trip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I have a hard time picking a favorite. I'm just going to pick one that doesn't get talked about as much. Uh, I recently watched a documentary on Eva Hess, who I learned about in contemporary art history. And she's, she never wanted to claim the title of a feminist, but her work is, it, it kind of skirts the line of feminist. Like before that was really kind of a thing. She, I forget if it was. Her or her parents, like, escaped the Holocaust. Oh. And she'd got back to Germany to live for a while. And oh, I think she wow. did go back and visit or something. But there's a really good documentary. And she does these, like... I always remember her for these, like, things she's dipped in, like, latex and strung out. And they're these, like, drippy, gooey things. Oh. A little what I always remember. Pollock, probably. little Kinda. little bit, yeah. Interesting. Hmm. So is it mixed media that she does? She does like a whole bunch of... I mean, she's known for sculpture things. Okay. But she did a whole... She did a series of paintings for a while, and that's... And I didn't know that. Yeah. Because art history, you just gotta cover, what is the one thing that this person's known for? Right. They get one piece, and then we move on. (laughs) Rauschenberg did a yak covered in a tire. Boom. (laughs) Next. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Salvador Dali had melting clocks. We're moving on. Right. Got it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah, the clock guy. Yeah, that one. (laughs) Escher had stairs, and we're done. Right? (laughs) So they recently dug up Salvador Dali and her paternity thing. Paternity, yep. Somebody claimed that she was the daughter. Is that right? Oh. And it it turned out it wasn't a match, didn't it? It was not. Yeah. See, that's just ironic. You dig up the dude for a DNA test and you still don't get the results. He like, still did wasn't anybody? The dude. They get the results. She was not a match. Right, right. Match. I mean, but like the due diligence of the research to lead to, well, this will prove it once and for. No. Yeah. 
<laughs> like her mom, she thought her mom was his so girlfriend. I, yeah, that was that was such a weird story. But she was trying to claim some of his uh, fortune. Do so. you think they wanted to just dig him up to see if the mustache was still intact? Um, like I think it was, wasn't it? Was, I think the mustache <laughs> was. Said. Were there yeah. any burning giraffes in there? <laughs> right. <exactly. laughs> I think the mustache was like that. Was like the weirdest part of the whole story was like even though it was so weird, like the mustache was still. I'm gonna look it up. Because your your hair is already dead. I mean, that's the thing. Like, but he had so right? much like product yeah, on it, homemade or whatever. Yeah. Oh, it was varnished. Uh, yeah, it's probably a preservative. I don't know. Yeah, what mustache intact. Wow. Salvador Dali's remains are exhumed in paternity suit. That was 2017. Wow. Okay, so everybody everybody answered the, the yes. get to know you question. There we go. Yeah. Almost <laughs> forgot. Bonnie, she would have cut me later. <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm going to come up with like my favorite. That is totally fine. I will say that when I'm looking up stuff, people that are super inspiring are people, like there's this lady, um, she lost her sight, but she's a painter. Oh. Um, her name is Lisa Fittipaldi. Gotcha. And, I mean, it's impressive. Like, she paints better than I do. And she <laughs> and she can't sight. see. <laughs> there are so many, you know, women out there who are painting with, you know, their mouths and their limbs and yeah. are autistic. Mm-hmm. Um, that are finding people... a way to express themselves. Exactly. Through any kind yeah. of odds. Yeah. Yeah. Just people who make it through, like Frida, mm-hmm. that we talked about last week. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, just inspiring. People yeah. who get through things... And be able to be therapeutic through art. I mean, I find it super inspiring. Yeah, absolutely. We need people like that. <laughs> so I default to that. Like, I like it. It's, it's See, you did it. hard for me. I don't know enough people, but I will say a lot of people inspire me. And that's what I've found. Yeah. Okay. I dig it. You guys want to know my cool thing? Yes. Yes. Oh, I had a couple of different ones that I was debating between, uh, but what I eventually decided, so um, I think I mentioned the first episode of the series, the Faker Fortune show. Mm -hmm. So Faker Fortune, it's a BBC show. Um, There's a couple, I think there's like five episodes on Netflix. So it's gone through three years. So there's, there's about... They don't do a whole, like their season is seven episodes. It's not that many. Mm. So it's a very um, tight show. You can tell that it's, they do a lot of research for every single episode. So it takes a lot of time to film one episode. Um, But there's like five of them on Netflix. There's far more on YouTube, if you know what I'm talking about, where I then proceeded to watch a whole bunch of them. (laughs) Um, And from series seven, there was one called A Double Whodunit. And in this particular one, um... They had uh, two paintings, and the subjects of the paintings were African-American girls. And these were really rare because it was the 18th century and the 19th century, Hmm. where usually African-Americans of any gender were not, you know what I mean, not featured in a painting. Um, The double mystery was they didn't know who painted either of these paintings, and they didn't know uh, who the girls were in the paintings either. Um, That's why they call it the double whodunit. And it was a fascinating episode. So like the first one, this one, right. Okay. So this is the painting that they found. And it was at Schoon Palace in Scotland. It's over 200 years old mm-hmm. and it has been attributed to the wrong artist. So that's why they called in this team to determine whether it's uh, you know, a forgery or whether it's worth a fortune. But also they are really detective works to try to figure out about the provenance um, of an art piece and also just its place in history as well. So in the painting, they were able to determine that it's Lady Elizabeth Finch Hatton and also her mixed race cousin, Dido Bell. Hmm. The interesting thing that has actually happened over time with this painting is that the names of the ladies start to disappear. And that's what I was finding so fascinating about this particular episode. So um, so Dido Bell, who is the African-American who is featured in the portrait, she's not what you normally see. She's gorgeous. She's looking at the, um, the viewer. Um, she's dressed in finery clothes. She has pearls around her neck and she's smiling. <laughs> These are all not common things. Now, Dido Bell was the illegitimate child of John Lindsay, Uh, He was an officer in the Royal Navy. Um, Her mother was a slave in the British West Indies. 
And Dido was brought to Britain at the age of four and adopted by her uncle, William Murray, who was the Lord Mansfield. Apparently, this is important. Remember, this is a British show. So I don't know what a Lord of Mansfield is, but apparently it's important and you get like a palace and stuff. Oh, nice. <laughs> and you can commission artwork. So he commissioned this painting of his great grandnieces. Um, and the interesting thing is he had this painted. Uh, he had it on his walls and in his will, uh, he issued that Dido be freed. She be freed at the time of his death. Um, some people are like, well, why wasn't she freed while he was alive? Uh, the thought of the research is she was safer being mm -hmm. in his care yeah. while he was alive. Uh, cause the world was not a safe place for a free person of color, let alone a woman of color. Right. Um, so it was one of those things where it's like, dude, honey, stick around here, live the life of privilege. No one's going to bother you. Right. Um, but when she did have her freedom on her own, it, she lived uh, a long life, luckily. Um, but yeah, it was one of those things. So she did actually get her freedom. So the painting was attributed to her. And then starting at three years after um, Lord of the Manor uh, died, her name disappears. Mm. And then it starts to become Negress in the picture, becomes mm. very offensive mm. in the next uh, iteration. And then the lady, uh, the lady that's in the picture, what is her name? Lady Elizabeth. Then all of a sudden Lady Elizabeth, the white girl that's in the photo, in the painting, she loses her name. And it just becomes two sitters or it becomes lady in portrait. And it's very odd throughout watching the show, how over time these women are being erased and mm -hmm. how the girl of color is being erased first and how quickly that was. And I'm like, that is like staggeringly um, eye opening. You know what I mean? At the same time. So they figured out who it was Dido Bell first. And then they figured out that the painter was David Martin. David Martin was known for doing like see-through lacy clothing. You know what I mean? That was like his signature thing. Mm -hmm. um, they could find out that he was, uh, they paid him around that time through paperwork and stuff like that to do a portrait. And so it was obviously him. Um, but it was fascinating to see such a rare portrait at that time. Now in the same episode, they also do this photo or this painting. I keep saying photo now. Um, which was a little bit more of a modern painting. Um, and it was a 19th century painting. They could kind of tell by uh, the attention to detail and also just the colors that were used for mm. it. Um, but it's basically called Two Children is what the painting has always been called. And this painting was in Edinburgh, Scotland. It's of two beautiful black girls. And the owner got it from his uncle who bought it in France. And one of the girls is kind of looking up to the heavens, if you will. She almost looks like she has a Bible on her lap. It's definitely a thick book. Um, and then the younger girl is looking like right at you. And she's got this little smirk of a smile that is kind of like, find out who I am. You know what I mean? <laughs> she's like inviting you to be like, I got a story and you're going to want to hear it. Um, and it's fascinating. Um, these two girls were absolutely rare to be painted like this because there is not a white person in the painting mm -hmm. at all. They are the center of the painting. <laughs> so it was completely rare. And, um, uh, basically they came to the conclusion it was political because mm -hmm. to do something that brazen, um, now here was the weird thing. So hiding on this painting through the, the dirt and the soot was actually the artist's name. <laughs> Oh, it was E. Jones, and it said painted 1831. And for years and years, nobody knew who painted it. It was literally on the painting, okay? <laughs> and it wasn't able to be seen. Um, so they soon found two women artists who went by the name E. Jones. And it ended up being Emma Jones who actually fit the description um, of the right time period and uh, of who would have painted it. She painted this picture when she was 18 years old, mm -hmm. which is amazing for the quality that it's at. Um, she was also a child prodigy, though. She exhibited at the Royal Academy at the age of 10. Wow. What? Yeah. Uh-huh. Right? So the girl was like the Mozart of her painting prowess. Uh-huh. But yet, have we heard her name before? No. 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 We've never heard her name. Her name was on the painting once again, and no one could figure out her name. And it drives me insane. 
Um, but her father was a painter and her father taught her. So that's how she got kind of like a heads up in life. Um, her husband was a celebrity chef. I think Gordon Ramsay. I don't know. He had this <laughs> whole big fancy uh, building where they um, they came up with recipes for the royals and they they just like they were developing new things. Now, as they're trying to figure out uh, the artist and they're settling now on uh, Emma Jones, who became Emma Sawyer because of her husband, um, and they're tracking down, OK, well, where did they live? What did he do? Uh, it turns out that the building that they owned where she not only had a painting studio and he had his big culinary brouhaha is the cross the street from the gallery that they are filming this documentary in. <gasps> it's across the street. Wow. <laughs> so they go over there and then actually learn far, far uh, more about um, Emma Jones. And it really does become the story of even though that this painting was radical for its day, it was hidden away. Um, even though um, she was an amazing artist protege and was showing up a lot of artists, we do not know about her. Um, but what this painting actually was, uh, was there was a great influx of people trying to not uh, support anti-slavery, the abolitionist movement. This painting was to show that um, the West Indies uh, slavery trade that was coming in, that these were educated girls, that these were girls full of hope, that these could be Bible thumping gals mm -hmm. <laughs> if you let them. <laughs> and that these are gals who you would love to see, to learn about, to be friends with. It was to show you the humanity and not just the slave trade. Mm -hmm. um, and it was quickly buried and forgot about until the show. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was the thing that I found fascinating was just the, the erasing of the female artist and the, you know, what's your name sort of thing. Just yeah. like terrified me almost to a certain extent. <laughs> so that is my cool thing. Can you think of any, any other kind of like works by women or things by women that have been kind of like pushed away or, you know, hidden away from history? All of them. All of them. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Very <satisfying. laughs> By what I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What well, wasn't taught in K through twelve, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a hashtag that went viral a while ago. It was name five women artists, oh, and people yeah. had a hard time doing mm -hmm. it. I've seen the name five scientists, women yeah. scientists, mm -hmm. and it's that same kind of like difficulty sort of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we did that with the film industry. Name five female filmmakers. <laughs> <laughs> see have you guys ever seen these paintings before i have mm -hmm. not no Sweet. Have i've you heard guys of ever watched well the i've Faker heard of, fortune show i haven't seen the show but i've heard of the dido bell like dido bell there was a movie yes that came out a few Ooh. years ago that i wanted to see i didn't see it because i don't think it got a very wide release but it looked pretty interesting they mention it um they actually talked to i don't know if it was the producer director writer or all those things <laughs> <laughs> um who was a glorious gal um, who did that documentary. Um, and yeah, so now that's on my list to discover um, and find out. But it looks like it was British uh, made or produced. And so that yeah. could be why we're having a hard was time it finding called, it here was in the, the States. Was the movie called Dido? Let's see, Bell. That's oh, the movie what I'm gonna, was called Bell. It was called Bell. Okay, there yeah. you go. I'm like, it was either her first or last name. <laughs> yeah, the story of Dido Bell. Yeah, so like I remember, I saw a preview for it at some point, probably at an art some other arts movie, but then I just never got to see ah. the movie. Well, so. now you have seen the painting that yeah. inspired the, who the is story. this and what is her story? Yeah. <laughs> the pose they have them in is interesting to me. Yeah. It's very weird. Yeah. What do you think the pose is? Because I feel like there's so many interpretations of what what the white lady in the painting is doing. <laughs> white lady's doing very standard white lady Victorian right. thing. Right. Like, I don't, yeah. it doesn't even look like she's smiling from back here. I oh, gotcha. Like, I don't have a... For me, it was like, she, her telling her, like, go run, I'll hold them off, like, I'll distract them while you do your thing. And the other lady's like, I don't know. It's like she's either pondering or... Coy or right 
Yeah, it's kind of got like a tee quality to yeah, it. Yeah, the tee is pretty perfect. Here it is a little bit bigger. I can't tell. Because it doesn't look like a grab. It looks like a push. Like I can't a, tell if she's pushing it or if she's it, pulling or... her closer. Yeah, like, or giving her, like painting. holding holding yeah, her come, hand. Come in yeah. with me. And I, think, I know you're not used to it, but come in. Or and it me. might be that particular way of where they decide to position leaves the either or. She's mm, either pushing right. her away or pulling her in, depending on your filter. Mm. Yeah. It's a very weird position for her to be in and all for the time like she just yes. looks like she's sitting correct for a portrait right well it shows like a lot of movement with the scarf uh-huh. blowing back behind mm-hmm. her like she's mm-hmm. in movement but the bench is behind her so she's also taller than the white lady yeah like which she's is... getting up right mm-hmm. which is interesting i don't know if what's behind them is a fence or a bench like, I don't know right. if she's getting up from a bench um mm-hmm. yeah exactly had some like yeah, yeah I, Da Vinci stuff going on in the background there. <laughs> I take that exactly. I don't see Da Vinci seat. code it. <laughs> <laughs> is there a base of us? <laughs> yeah. Is there like a triangle hidden in the <laughs> Always the triangle. Always. <laughs> She's like carrying a basket of like fruit or flowers or something. Right. So she looks kinda allegorical. Like Right. This is weird. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. It's all in what you make of it. It all is interesting for sure. Yeah. What's yeah. the show called again, Leah? Oh, the show is called Fake or Fortune. Fake or Fortune. Okay. And it's BBC. Yes. It's a BBC. Um, this particular episode is, I saw it on YouTube, uh, okay. not on Netflix. Um, okay. And it's called A Double Who Done It. And Double this has both of these paintings in them, both featuring women. Um, and then one of them actually featuring a female artist, which is okay. the only so. fact or fortune episode where they have a female oh interesting mm. that's really interesting isn't having, it though had isn't more it though? <laughs> hmm. are women art like is women's art just not forged as often as men's oh art, i'm sure or? it's all forged as same amount but yeah, but there's they, just they, not they, as much or, they're also know. doing british artists and i think oh, because they do yeah. so few episodes they're trying to do the heaviest hitters and the heaviest yeah. hitters seem to be dudes so yeah mm. So they're trying to get their Rembrandts and their Van Gogh and <laughs> <laughs> Monet's and Picasso. They have and... a Monet, yeah. They haven't done a Picasso yet, but oh. yeah. Lowry. Sorry, that's where I got the Lowry from. <laughs> what happens more often is that women, especially if they're studying under their a father or husband or whatever in a studio together, they get misattributed. To oh other yeah. People. Like a oh, lot yeah. of Artemisia stuff is labeled as caravaggios even though they're like not related right they're similar style yeah because it's close enough for that time mm-hmm. and they figured it had to be a dude it couldn't be a lady mm-hmm. yeah well, ladies can't pay naked ladies <laughs> yes they can <laughs> that would be absurd they don't know what a breast looks like <laughs> they've never seen such a thing wait they can't look at themselves like i can <laughs> not to like make excuses for it but it could also angle. be like like some women like use uh, men's pen names as a way to like get more mm-hmm. attention because right. maybe as a woman they wouldn't have been able to get the work so maybe that there some of that was Just happening. That. Mm-hmm. I right. don't know. J.K. Rowling. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Using the initials. Yeah, I like George Sand. I mean, there's like a lot of women that use men's names, like as a way to kind of sneak into the. But if, yeah, I don't know. But I'm sure or there's a lot of at least to mis- just be seen. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, all right. If my name's gonna stop you from being seen, then let's just put an initial on it, or yeah. put my husband's last name on it, and see. You know. Or just put a. That's what I just did for my look at firm. the work first. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So that would be look at the work first. Yeah. Well, that actually wraps it up for the series. We've all covered our one cool thing. We yeah. did it. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. So let us know what you think of the new format and our one cool thing. We will have all of the show notes up to all of the one cool things that we talked about. And stay tuned for the next. Woohoo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> for show notes, links, and images from this week's show, visit galsguide.org. Want exclusive stuff like deleted bits and major bloopers? Become a Gals God patron today. Thanks for listening. <laughs>